Uh, but Bengals and the Niners, Sam Darnold gets the call at quarterback. Is he seeing ghosts again? We'll start with you as the as the Niners fan here, Zach. Uh, do, do the Niners rebound uh, and put the Bengals kind of back below the 500 mark? Well, after a 5-0 start, we looked on top of the world. I started letting stupid thoughts creep into my brain about, oh, we could go undefeated. Oh, that Eagles game, week 13, that looks – Wow, that could be the that could be the one big game we slip up. Nah, nah. Same team, same mediocre quarterback, oh. same injuries to superstars, same stupid mistakes every game, same undisciplined crap, same exact shit. New defensive coordinators worse than the last two. Coach, same wow. lame, same lame coach. Wow. I'm I mean, yeah, I love San Francisco. I'm still on board. I think. We still have a great team. I, I think we're obviously a playoff team, but I am guys all over the place. really <laughs> yeah, what's going on. I am really frustrated uh, by what I've seen the last two games. We <laughs> haven't won in Cleveland since 1987. We haven't won in Minnesota since 1991. Wow, uh, those, those streaks continued. Yeah, just two places we seem to can't win games. Um, uh, where is this game? Is this game is when was the last time you won in San Francisco? <laughs> is uh, this game in Cleveland or? <laughs> We, I, I like I, that. All that said, no, I just wanted to vent a little bit. I'm frustrated. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't think Let we should out. be five and two. I think we should be six and one or seven and zero, oh, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's some of the same stuff that pops up the last couple of years that seemed to derail our team is popping up again. And uh, I'm just, I'm just frustrated. I think this matchup is pretty good for us, though, regardless of the quarterback. Uh, I, I think our pass rush is going to be able to get home. Uh, I think. We can still run the offense pretty similarly with Sam Darnold. Um, Debo, really, the dynamic of not having Debo seems to matter a lot more than, it, you know, normal. He's not just as replaceable a player as some wide receivers who go out. Uh, and, it's, and it hurts our scheme, too. We can't run the, some of the stuff we like to run. I think we win the game, but I think it's really ugly. I think we win, like, 19 to 16. Bengals oh. cover San Francisco. Uh, wins the game, though. Okay. BMAC, what do you like here? Niners, Bengals. Since we got a Bengals cover, it's five and five and a half ish spread right now. Four it's down to four. Oh, it dropped because of the Darnold. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. So it's down to four. What do you like here, BMAC? Yeah, we just listened to a lot of a lot. That was a lot. This. I don't know. Um, I'm a lot. fan of the team. Yeah. yeah. A lot of stuff going on I don't know if it sounded like that, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think two losses is not that big of a deal. Uh, I think it's totally fine. I think most teams in the over the course of a season don't go undefeated, and it's still okay. Um, <laughs> and I think it's probably a good thing that they lost a couple games. They'll be just fine. Um, I wouldn't want to go undefeated, believe me. Listen to me. Uh, but, yeah, I think they're fine. Um, I think they're a pretty solid team, and the same old thing means they'll be in the NFC Championship game. That's pretty darn good. Uh yeah, I think the Niners have have the best team in the NFC. I think they might still have the best team in football. Um, I think this is a bad matchup for the Bengals, uh, but the Bengals coming off of a bye makes it interesting. Uh, but I'm going to take the Niners. I don't like uh, the Bengals' ability to protect the quarterback. The Bengals can't run the ball at all. Um, and I think I think the Niners will be able to move the ball a decent amount. And uh, the Brock Purdy slander is a little um, a little off. People saying mediocre quarterback or whatever. Uh, if you go look at the numbers, uh, all his mistakes were after he got a concussion. Uh, the first throw after the concussion play was an interception. Um, it's actually like wildly reminiscent to the Tua Green Bay game last year. His numbers before getting hit and after um, drop off a cliff. Uh, clearly, he was concussed out there on the field for the second half of the game. Yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I like the Niners in this yeah, game. Since, I don't think he, he actually has the least. I did. I picked it already. Right now. What was the score? You didn't say a score. Uh, I'll say the Niners win uh, 27 to 17. So okay, so, cover? so they cover. Yeah, it might be yep. some yeah. good information I have. Oh. Yeah, Melon, uh, <laughs> Melon, what do you like here? Bengals, 49ers, four points. Yeah, uh, Bengals relatively healthy. Probably the healthiest they've been in a while. Uh, on the other end, the 49ers not healthy at all. Brock Purdy did not practice today. He is out this week, as we know. Uh, Debo Samuel did not practice today. He is looking like he is going to be out. Uh, they're more inclined to sit guys this week because I do believe the 49ers have a bye week next week. So if you get a guy resting this weekend, you got two weeks to get him healthy again. Debo's already been ruled out for the game. He has, oh, yes. Said okay. that. Um, so – Trent Williams did not practice today as well. Uh, he has not been ruled yet, but he has not practiced this week, so that's concerning as well. 
The biggest takeaway I have, though, is Brendan touched on it briefly there. The Bengals are not going to be able to run the ball. They can't run the ball against anybody, and the 49ers have the third best rush defense in the league. There's just no way they break 50 yards rushing this week. Maybe on like some Joe Burrow scramble because he's going to be running for his life. Um, even with Sam Darnold, I think the 49ers come in and beat the piss out of the Bengals. They're oh. just a much better team all around. Uh, I actually love Sam Darnold as a backup. I think he's almost one of the perfect guys that can step in and run that offense. As we all know, the 49ers offense, man, I feel like three of the four of us could be mildly successful running it. Uh, <laughs> Who's the one just... who could it be? Brent. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. no, I don't know. I don't so, know. He might the... sling it. Well, the, the, yeah, it would be Brendan. Not cause... anymore. <laughs> good, good. Uh, no. The long story short is I think the 49ers will be just fine this weekend. I think they get the win. I think they cover the four points. I think everybody's going to be jumping on the Bengals hard, given the uh, Purdy news. Give me the 49ers to win the game 27 10. Um, yeah, uh, I agree 100% that uh, Darnold, Darnold's not a bad guy to have as your backup, especially in that kind of West Coast system. He's something that he's used to running. Um, was looking forward to maybe seeing him run it with New York until they traded him out. Uh, but uh, Burrow had an x ray done this week. You said everybody was healthy, but Burrow had an x ray done. Let's just throw that up there. And I got news for you guys. Joe, Joe's not phased at all that they're not going to have a running game. And they're all this stuff about Bosa's, the pass rush. He's not concerned about that at all. Burrow's got the dog in him. Lou Anaramo's going to have something ready for Sam Darnold. Going to be seeing ghosts. It's Halloween. Give me the Bengals to win the game. 24-20 Cincinnati. The, no. the Bengals and, will look like pumpkins. And now it'd be a detriment to have a full grown German shepherd inside of your quarterback. Doesn't and Joe, now Joe, we're Joe Burrow, yeah, doesn't Joe Burrow have like cirrhosis of the liver or gout or some stupid thing this week? That, whoa. I don't know. No, he, he, he's he got the failing? dog and he's got the dog nice, in his leg. Are you oh, asking if Joe Burrow's a like really bad drunk? <laughs> like, he's, he's got some cores. Like. <laughs> Is Joe Burrow really yeah. bad drunk? I, guess. I don't know. I he keeps Joe. getting weird like internal organ injuries. It's he's weird. fine. It's because he's he got a German shepherd. He's like, he had an appendectomy once and Melon hasn't got over it. I know. Two years ago he had an appendectomy. He had like a liver problem. He was a normal procedure. 